My point is, I can't wait to get invited back to The View. That was really a... Ellen DeGeneres has a way, as you can see, with the guests in her show, and we are thrilled that she's a guest on ours. Please welcome back Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> friendly too because there are people who are too friendly you know there's friendly and then there's too friendly like you ever go to shake hands with somebody and they say oh I don't shake I hug getting hugged though is not as bad as uh, when you uh, go to kiss somebody on the cheek you go to give them a little peck on the cheek and they turn and kiss you right in the mouth I don't want to name names but Barbara Walters we only have seven minutes it's not like we have all the time it's not a Barbara Walters special yeah thank God because I'd be trying to make you cry so this tree is the second oldest tree in Santa Barbara. She has had a couple of high-profile relationships and breakups, but at age 49, Ellen has settled into a certain domesticity with her girlfriend, 34-year-old actress, Portia de Rossi. We have oranges, we have tangerines, yeah. mandarins, we have limes, a lot of everything, grapefruit even. She says Portia is the one, but they always have their dogs. <laughs> Ellen likes to spend her free time in her house in Santa Barbara, but there's precious little of it these days. Every joke, every dance has led her to this night. Hosting the Oscars is the biggest job of her career. Fortunately, she knows all the steps that got her here. Your very first Academy Award. How are you? I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, I kind of am visualizing what it's going to feel like to walk out on that stage and there's going to be a big big smile on my face yeah and will you dance no dancing no dancing no dancing <laughs> the way to get out of it is to make her laugh tell me about that <laughs> hey everybody i'm star jones and i'm here with ellen degeneres ellen what's going on girlfriend oh nothing just wondering what time it was. Now, that's called bling yeah. and bling. Well, you know what? I'm talking to you, which means more than me. You watch when carnivores attack? That's a good show. That's uh, a No. Scary. Uh, no. Stop. That's a Do you? I know. It's such yeah. a crazy show. Yeah. And then, but then it makes everything in life seem much calmer because then yes, you go, oh, wow, nature's just, just mean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I don't know, Star. We got to talk to you about it. I you love it when they, you and I'll sit there and watch when the lions get eaten or something. <laughs> love it. Yeah. You go, girl. You go too. Yeah. We'll both go. We'll both go together. Yeah. And you know, Ellen took the Emmy this year at the daytime Emmys, and I'm still kind of grudgeful for that. I'm okay. sorry. The Emmy goes to Ellen DeGeneres show. This is the Ellen DeGeneres Show's second consecutive win in two nominations. They previously won this award in 2004 for their debut season. Accepting for the Ellen DeGeneres Show is executive producer Ellen DeGeneres. Sorry, it's, uh, I, I wish they could separate us all up and not put us against each other. Now, but you know what? That means yeah. it's good television being yeah. made, and we love you. We love you, too. Okay, so... Uh, is this the heat factor thing? Am I being judged right now? Yeah, you know, they always are judging you, but... Walters, Joy Behar, and Elizabeth Hasselbeck. to thank the Academy. But what, no, Joy Barbara, we didn't Elizabeth, win. We didn't win. Barbara, Barbara, we didn't win. We didn't win, Barbara. <laughs> Everybody lost. said we would. Everyone won. said we would, but we didn't. Oh. <laughs> next, let's <laughs> move on. Maybe next year. Okay, maybe well. next year, Barbara. Okay. We'll kill Ellen and maybe we we'll... <laughs> Enough. Okay, last night. What am I going to do with them? Last night. <laughs> so friendly and who doesn't like nice people if there was a poll and you could choose do you want nice people or, or mean people rude people or nice people you'd choose nice people and if you wouldn't then you're a stupid idiot is what I'd say oh, and we're back with Ellen DeGeneres and we used 
said that uh, that uh, uh, you you're somebody that doesn't like to do very much. Porsches become such the fashion plate, and so wonderful to see you. Nice to see you too. Look how beautiful you look. Thank you. So yes. this time we're at the Golden Globes. Yes. But you're still on one of the hottest shows there is. I know. I'm very lucky. You know, you're just very good. Oh, well, thank you. Uh -huh. Speaking of that, may I just tell you that this may be one of the most glorious gowns I've seen all night. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you didn't say this was over the top and in your face. No, That's darling. But you're glorious. Absolutely. You. So, and you do not want to put on all that designer stuff whatsoever. I was just thinking about that. I wear that. designer stuff. It's just not that kind of design. I wear Jill Sander and I wear uh, Prada and Gucci and, you know, and, and Chloe. She's and tailored. I, I just tailored. wear different clothes. Yes. Yeah. Here's the deal. You got great legs, fabulous thighs, Thank you. and a bling bling watch. That's right. Who gives a flip what the rest of them think? That's right. And it's Victor and Rolf, and, and they did a great job. For, uh, thank you for dressing me, Victor and Rolf. And, uh, and little bling bling didn't help. You know, that didn't hurt. Sugar Rossi's back for a second season of the ABC sitcom Better Off Ted, playing a pit bull of a boss, but we all know what a sweet sweetheart she really is. So please welcome back the lovely and talented Portia de Rossi. <laughs> here before in 2003 I believe it was that long ago yeah okay. that's what they tell me because it's a long time ago right um, and something happened that day tell the audience what happened well he, what I can remember was I was sitting on this couch and I was in the middle of my segment I was talking about arrested development and then all of a sudden the stage manager rushed out onto the stage and told us that we had to evacuate the building because there was a fire <laughs> it was live but get this. Uh, but wait, before I get to that, I did. I went to uh, to the Bronx to uh, to Engine 42 to to visit the firemen. Oh, yes. And you know, we're thankful for them for everything they do. And, but I gotta say, I slid down the pole. I slid down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. it, it sounds dirty to say that. Um, I. I uh, I slid down the fireman's pole, and it, it, the, the, their ceilings are so high because a, mm -hmm. a truck has to be in there, an engine has to be in there, and it is so much higher than you think and that I almost broke my ankles. I went were down. Were you the scared? Pole, uh, yeah, any, I was any, really uh, scared. Any uh, chafing? Uh, my, um, I, uh, no, you wrap your legs around it, yeah. and then you, you hold on with your hand, and it was burning my hand, so I let go, and I hit the ground <laughs> so hard that oh I thought God. I was going to break my ankles. Um, the, the most interesting part of this for me was that I, at the time, was very closeted and very, very afraid that one of you would ask me about my private life. So I was sitting here very nervous, mm -hmm. and, and then, from what I remember, Somebody maybe asked me something about my private life, or we were kind of getting into that realm, and then like divine intervention, saved by the bell, by the, bell. <laughs> the alarms and you went didn't off, have to answer. and I didn't have to answer. Out that day, but when did you come out? At what year was it? Oh boy, because um, that was 2003. It seems like you've been out a long time. Well, I guess most people knew for sure I was gay when I was with Ellen, because it's yeah. hard to yeah. be with Ellen and yeah. kind of. Uh, yeah, not let people know. So um, she'll shout it from the rooftop. She will. Yes, bless her. She will. You have things you like to do together. Yes, like I don't like to do anything. And, <laughs> oh, I hear that. I like doing yeah. the nothing thing. I mm -hmm. love. I love doing nothing at all. And I and I'm with somebody who also enjoys doing nothing at really? all. Or what about when you go to say goodbye to somebody and they grab your ass? I don't want to name names, but Elizabeth Hasselbeck. actually bought a ranch or right in a little farm area mm -hmm. but I know that in looking at places rumor had it you were looking at Jennifer and Brad's old 28 million dollar estate and mm -hmm. mansion in Beverly Hills mm -hmm. did you snoop around and find anything cool there 28 million <laughs> 28 yeah. million hey, they, paid, they paid better on your station yeah <laughs> uh, they have they have a beautiful house uh -huh. we looked at it and they have a beautiful house neat and organized uh, well, yeah, they left it messy for us to look at. They, yeah. exactly. they took out a lot of stuff before they showed it. That's good. Yeah, That's it, it, it's a beautiful house, though. Great. For instance, like
like, okay, um, just, curious. just as an example of that tangibly, men and women. Women want all the rights of men, but they're not asking to be called men. Do you think maybe Joy's right? Maybe it is the, is it the word, or is that the word more well. important than the rights? <laughs> No, of course the word isn't more important than the rights, but without the word, we don't have equal rights because everybody is allowed to be married. Yeah. We've been together now a year. You said that this, yeah. this is for keeps. You're happy. But there's a smile on your face. Yeah. It's, there's something when you, you just meet somebody and you just click and the, you don't know it until you know it. When you and you say that being married has changed your life. Yeah. To how? Well, I think that you have to be married to know how different it is than just mm -hmm. being together with someone. It's, it's work, huh? No, oh, it's, it's not work. <laughs> really? Actually, it's, oh. it feels a, like a very kind of calming, relaxing wow. thing. It feels... I think I'm going to have to turn because... <laughs> Was it the security of it, like knowing it's, that it's, there's commitment there? Yes, it's, and because of that commitment, I feel like... Um, we're just more of a team. We're mm. more kind of uh -huh. working for the common goal of us. So we're, so glad. we're glad you came by to even express your, your viewpoint. Okay. Thank you so much.